West Pokot County. One of the regions in the country where culture embraces female genital mutilation, deeming it as a gateway to adulthood. And no sooner than they have healed from the scar of such an unkind cut, the young girls aged between 8 and 12 are married off to older men, some four or five times their age. They see the girl is a source of, uh, a source of getting uh, money. They want to marry off the girl so that they get uh, the cow. Lillian Chalangat, not her real name, was robbed off of her youth and education at the tender age of 10 when she was married off to a 45-year-old man. On the first day of her marriage, she was subjected to what she terms as child labor. She endured the ordeal for two nights, then fled from her husband. Adding soul to injury, her mother committed suicide on the alleged perception that her source of wealth was lost. Miles away, we meet with Jen Chebet, not her real name, whose memories of how her mother pulled her out of school at a tender age of eight to marry her off as a third wife to a 60-year-old man still floods her mind. <laughs> A week later, she also bolted and dashed her mother's hopes of becoming the family source of income through diary. At Naram Secondary School, 15-year-old Christine Nakoko, yet another victim, is picking up the pieces of her educational life that was cut short by her brother three years ago. However, each time she tried her best to escape, they would look for her and take her back to her husband. Once you have run away, they'll keep on looking for you. And once they get you, you'll be beaten thoroughly. And they'll take you back to those to the man that you he wanted you to marry it off. Then the script of her life changed when she met a group of women in our community who have different ideology to FGM and early marriages. I've seen a change. We have touched the life of girls and even the women. A new dawn is rising in West Pokot County. Daring victims escape gnares of a dark culture. Traveling for six days through the bush on bare feet, feeding solely on soil and water, they find rescue centers. <coughs> Tomorrow, I bring you part two of A Cat So Unkind, with focus on how girls in rural West Pokot have bypassed the miserable path of FGM and early marriages to actualize their dream of making it to university through the rescue centers. <coughs>